This is the best I've felt physically in over two weeks, and I'm only $139 away from my July fundraiser goal for Thor News because y'all are so awesome. Thank y'all so very much from the bottom of my heart and every fiber of my being. All right, let's get to the planetary defense commandery stuff. Elsa made landfall in Florida as a tropical storm. And last night, somebody called me a fear monger. I was like, yo, bro, how the hell am I a fear monger? Over 10 days ago, I predicted hopefully a atmospheric defense team would have improved off its record in 2019 and 2020. And so we may not get hit by a hurricane this year. I'm not going to be that super optimistic, like say that like that is 100% the case, but they did a wonderful job and I give them an A plus on Elsa so far. Still going to bring dangers, still going to bring flooding, but you know, like I said, I'm giving them an A plus. If you're paying attention, I don't know how you could give them any other grade. The real danger today does seem to be in Texas, as South Texas is on an elevated alert for heavy flooding for the moisture coming out of the Gulf. South Texas, we we're talking about a high flood risk, like worse than Elsa down in the south so please stay aware and be careful as a lot of moisture is about to train through your area and that ain't all you got multiple areas which have the possibility of nasty severe weather today I'm talking possible tornado spin-ups fallen hail and you know just general wtfness here 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 and here and then tomorrow you got a whole lot of rain on the board and possibility for more severe weather here and then i will say again some models show elsa strengthening when it gets into the atlantic and then a lot of models show whatever elsa will be going into new york and new england and then we've got our next heat wave which will hit the southwest and parts of the west coming this weekend and excessive heat watches up today so Stay on top of that. I'd like to reiterate the risk for my South Texans again that, you know, it was upgraded to a high risk later, earlier, and, you know, the coast is pretty soaked here in Texas, so there is a good chance for some nasty flooding. This is a seven-day rainfall projection with the heaviest. You're getting yellow in Texas. That's not good. And then you've got it up the whole coast, which you can bring some rain from Elsa. And then you've got the storms that are moving in that'll bring some heavy rain to the Great Lakes area combined with some severe weather. And it'll stay dry in heat wave land. As seen models show Elsa moving into New York and New England is anywhere from a like 1,005 millibar tropical storm to, or 1,008, to a, there was one earlier that printed out at like a 980, which would be hurricane strength. And so the atmospheric defense team seems to, and prayer warriors, and Astro Fight Club have done such a good job on it. I would think the chances of it being hurricane strength moving into the Northeast are low, but I wouldn't put the chances at zero. And be on the lookout for fog. Yeah, you know, here, 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 there, and there. The atmosphere is definitely moist, and in some parts, I would call it very wet. And so this storm will continue up the east coast and then move out into canada mount edna's still been doing its eruptive volcano thing and you know i think we'll see more moisture come out of the gulf uh over the next week or two and so we could see some pretty big risks for flooding over the next for the rest of july you know so please be prepared as best as you can so hey what okay here robert roche is showing us one of the model runs one of the stronger ones for elsa has it coming in i think at a 989 millibar low which would be category one like i said no matter what it's going to bring a lot of rain to y'all and so even though category one hurricanes are dangerous nobody we don't really flip out about them you know so and there's no not much difference between a tropical storm and a category one hurricane yo 
So don't get hung up on semantics, bro. Unless you're looking for a reason to be negative. You know, I don't know a lot of people get off on negativity. So if that's you, do you do you, man? Yeah, what a week we had. We had the ocean on fire. We had the vol mud volcano in the Caspian Sea. And then Etna filled the skies over Bel Paso, Italy, which rhymes with El Paso, Texas, kind of, sort of, or whatever. Neptune made an appearance, or so says Jeff Overs. Game Jeff Overs, man. Neptune seemed to make an appearance during this morning's channel, Gales, Poseidon. So, you know, we've talked about Jupiter and Neptune, which is Poseidon and Zeus, are in Pisces, which is a water sign. So we've been expecting, you know, heavy flooding through July, pretty much. It's very hot in Lapland and Norway. And I got to admit, right now, I would like nothing more than to go to hot Lapland. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you guys follow the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but Loki, episode five, came out last night. It is spectacular, really great, wonderful. So, if you get a chance, to check it out. But yeah, the whole atmospheric defense team theory, here is the low, and here is them separating the convection from, which means the storms have a really hard time intensifying. So I am very grateful for... The atmospheric defense team. I was so grateful for so many things today. Thank you. And, you know, I let us know that June 14th through like the 10th of July was going to be really, 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 really challenging. And I think we're past the worst of that energy. Thank you, Jesus. AFRN. Yeah, we may have more storms to deal with in the near future. So I will continue to pay attention for y'all. And so will the whole Weather Twitter team. You know, we're a team, man. Asteroid Fight Club, brother. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, I love our team. Yeah, we're watching this thing. That looks like trouble. Remember, the Gulf was on fire earlier this week. It was like six days ago. Man, isn't the future crazy? Um, and so you know how I put out specific warnings for specific time periods well we just made it through the middle of the year worst red alert zone and so the next super red alert zone we have is going to be November and so like I want to tell everybody again I mean don't let your garden now but like just get ready for November and December to be super duper crazy on a lot of levels. So let's try and enjoy every single good time, smile, laughter, and moment with friends, family, and cool people we can, okay? But still expect there to be a lot of flooding through July as Jupiter and Neptune are still hanging out in Pisces. Yeah, hey, and Queen of Wartooth finally agrees with me that crypto will probably go down again, although it may go up again in August. When Jupiter retrogrades back into Aquarius. We'll see though. Oil took a bit of a hit today. But oil still been on a 20 year winning run. The Haitian president was assassinated overnight. So that's not good news. And that is not a good trend. There's a chance things will be crazy in 21, 2021, 2022, 2023. So let's just do the best we can with what we have where we're at. You know. One day I got to learn to make a video under 10 minutes. Weather and Radar UK Ireland risk of heavy showers and thunderstorms across parts of England this afternoon. That was seven hours ago. <sighs> Big Apple debris flying through the sky. Strong storms hit the northeast on Tuesday, sending debris flying through the air in Manhattan. Um, yep. And there'll still be a lot of tornado watches up for... The Elsa Path. Saban Kaya volcano had a pretty impressive eruption. It's a raging fire on the surface of the Gulf of Mexico was caused by a leak in a marine pipeline that was ignited by an electrical storm, says Pemex, the state owned gas company in Mexico. Yeah, 
take always take what gas old gas no companies tell you with a grain of salt would be my guess and this is still one of the craziest my entire time eight years the tour news this is definitely one of this was one of the craziest things i've ever seen but you know i still believe what coldplay says we live in a beautiful world well sometimes it's ugly no doubt but you know look how there's gonna be rain for the coasts this Gulf of Mexico coast, coast and the Atlantic coast of for America USA lower 48 I'm just cranky weather guy ugh oof yuck fire season's gonna be bad this year man storm of corn letting us know that it remains hot across the interior west in fact at least four locations had their hottest July 6th on record so we're talking like Idaho and places like that. I took my very last antibiotic like three hours ago, which means that when I do hit my fundraiser goal, uh, I can have a beer with you guys. So I'm excited about that. You know, I like two weeks and didn't have a beer. Wait, I did have a half a beer July 1st when I got gravity ghost punched in the face by Mars. Mars was like, we think you should step down from Planetary Defense Commander. Hey, I watched a double header of Jack Reacher and then Superman. I recommend it. You should watch it. Do you know who is cool? Without a doubt, giraffes. Man, giraffes are really, really, really cool and magical. We need to clean the oceans, the rivers, and the lakes. Take better care of Earth, man. My opinion, okay, great. You are also really cool. U.S. Stormwatch wildfires really took off today across southern Oregon and Idaho with two of the fires producing pyrocumulus plumes over 30,000 feet as they spread rapidly. Oh, note to self, I had to go buy another microphone cable. I found out that it's actually the microphone cable that's glitchy. Um, and that's cheaper than a new microphone. So that's cool. All right. You didn't even know that. There was an overflare off in Texas, but nobody got hurt. All right, so if things go well, I'm going to clean my apartment and do laundry. Sound cool? Great. Yeah, technically, we're going to be on alert for the whole hurricane season. I mean, it's hurricane season, you know? And as someone pointed out to me about atmospheric defense team, they, some, you know, they need things like dry air and certain things to work with so if they don't have those ingredients some of the defensive measures will be harder to implement so let us continue to keep our prayer game up our gratefulness and gratitude up and stay cool yeah dude the last two or three weeks were wild and then there's always the fiat versus crypto or I guess crypto versus fiat and then the ransomware escalation you know these are interesting times as your planetary defense commander i must say so i super duper greatly appreciate every day we have that civilization is still standing and i super duper greatly appreciate y'all and i look forward to sitting down having a beer with you guys and i'll break out the new nostradamus passage for july it'll blow your mind he nailed the fire in the gulf by the way and he talks about my dad in the second week of july so i'm very interested to see how that'll turn out thank y'all very much only got $139 left to raise for the July fundraiser. I'm excited and very optimistic and super duper grateful. So I want to say thank you again to Rejoice, asterisk, the person who sent me the card today. So happy to get that card. Thank you very much. And thank you to all y'all. Y'all are great. And thank you to Charles, Teresa, Fairytale Incorporated, Susan, Dave, Timothy, George, Andrea, Charles, Mr. Fun, the Texas Angel, Jennifer, Robert, Richard, Barbara, Arnica, Dustin, Andrea, Alexis, Lauren, Richard, Scott, Glenda, Light Soul, Dan, Marlita, Daryl, Brian, Ann, KJ, Max, Catherine, Gregory, Wizard of Oz, Charlotte, Matthew, Robert, Carolyn, Loretta. Yeah. So, you know. I don't know, I've made like 12 videos, wait, 24 videos in the last 
12 days. So I try to do a good job because you guys are just so good to me. But I definitely got haters and hackers who wish I was gone. But I even appreciate that, man. I don't, I'm not mad at anybody. I don't hate anybody. And I stay optimistic because that's just how I am. So thank you all very much. Have a great day. Maybe I'll talk to you all later tonight. Or maybe I'll get so into cleaning my room and, or my, my apartment and uh, doing laundry that I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Okay? Stay cool. God bless everyone. And I love you.